Good morning, everyone. I am Joven Cosico, student of Pamantasan and Lusod na Muntinlupa, and I am presenting Web Services with subject MIT 503, Advanced System Design and Implementation under Dr. Marmelo B. Abante. Okay, let's start. What is a web service? A web service is a service available over the web. It enables communication between application over the web, provides a standard protocol format for communication, a software system designed to support a interoperable machine-to-machine -machine interaction over a network. Web services are XML-based information exchange system that use the internet for direct application-to-application -application interaction. This system can include programs, objects, messages, or documents. A web service is a collection of open protocols and standards used for exchanging data between application or system. Okay, why we use it? This is a platform independent communication. Using web services, two different applications can talk to each other and exchange data information. Web services you to exchange data between different applications and different platforms. It allows applications to communicate, exchange data, and shared services among themselves Web services are specifically designed to be used as web page requests and help us to receive data. What is the importance of web service? Nowadays, the importance of using web services have been increased widely as it provides a more procedural way for communication. It provides a common way for communication and easiness of programming. It also run faster on a server. Okay, what is a web service and why is a call a web service? What is the difference between a web service and a web page? Okay, let's start for a simple question. What is the web for a bit of context less first as what is the internet? The internet is a worldwide computer network that connects computers, smartphones, and many others, network devices. The internet just connects these devices, and in the sense of like the telephone network, it simply provides connectivity. The internet can be used for different applications. Popular examples are emails, file transfer, and web this application can use specific protocols, and while the internet just connects, computer this application protocols, then connect programs that run on these connected devices. The web is just one of these internet application. It allows running on one computer the web browser to send a request to a program running on another computer. The web server and response contains a web page that is displayed by your browser and when you click on a link in that page, your browser simply retrieves the next page that's the web in a nutshell. Okay. We have, of course, if we are using web services, there is a advantages and disadvantages. Okay, let's start to talk advantages. Advantages of utilizing web services are revealing the existing function on framework. A web administration is a managed code that can be remotely called using HTTP. You know what's the HTTP? Hypertext Transfer Protocol. That is, it tends to be start using HTTP inquiries. 
Web administration empower you to uncover the handiness of your present code over the framework. At that point, when it's uncovered on the framework, other applications can use the handiness of your program. Next, interoperability. Interoperability, web service interoperability objectives are to give consistent and program association starting with one programming application then on to the next. Cleanser, WSDL, and UDDI convention. Characterize a self dispectic approach to find and call a product application strategy. Paying little mind to area or stage, information is marshaled into XML solicitation and reaction reports and move between programming bundles utilizing HTTP or message-based convention. Interoperability issue creep in the disclosure, definition, and solicitation reaction instrument. Next advantage is order protocol. Web administration use the institutionalized industry standard show for the correspondence. All four layers such as service transport, XML messaging, service description, and service discovery layers. Use well-described show in the web organization show stack. This systematization of show stack gives the business various focal points. For instance, a wide extent of choices I decline in the cost due to contention of augmentation in the quality. Next advantage is ease of use. Web services are intended to be utilized over the web. That is simply similar a page is brought. One can get web administration capacity over the web. The ability of web administration shifts from straightforward data query to complex algorithm meeting calculation. Thusly, when help is utilized to uncover a business rotational at that point, it can be used without much of strength utilized. Okay, let's proceed with the disadvantage. Disadvantages of utilizing web services are one is availability. Availability, everyone who uses the internet knows the number site is 100% available. It follows that web services which use the same infrastructure as website will not be 100% available either even if the server is up and running your internet service provider might not be or the internet service hosting the other side of transaction might not be either. Next, matching requirements. Anytime you create a several service that will handle a variety of customers, you will run into specialized requirements. Some customers might require the one extra little feature that nobody else needs. Web services are envisioned as a one size fits many customers technology. If your business cannot fit into that model, you should consider other solution. Next, immutable interfaces. If you invest in a creating web service for your customer, you have to avoid changing any of the methods that you provide and the parameters that your customers expect. You can create new methods and add them to the service, but if you exchange existing ones, your customer's program will break. This is easy to do until you find that one of your existing method is returning wrong answer and cannot be repaired because the approach is fundamentally flow. 
early release of Java contained methods of calculating date and time differences that could not be made to work correctly. Okay, and last, last of the list, disadvantage, guaranteed execution. The whole idea behind having a computer program instead of doing a job by hand is that the program can run unattended. HTTP is not a reliable protocol in that it does not guarantee delivery or a response. If you need this kind of guarantee, either write the code to retry request yourself or arrange to send your request through an intermediary who will perform these retries for you. Again, newer version of the specification allows for using protocols such as JMS to resolve this issue, but the majority of services out there still utilize HTTP, which does not. Okay, what are the different types of web services? Okay, one is XML RPC, which is remote procedure call. It's the most basic XML protocol to exchange data between a wide variety of devices on a network. It uses HTTP to quickly and ease transfer data and communication, other information from client to server. Next, UDDI, meaning Universal Description, Discovery, and Integration. What is the meaning of this? What is the use of this? It's an XML based standard for detailing, publishing, and discovering web services. It's basically an internet registry for businesses around the world. The goal is to streamline digital transaction and comments among company system. SOAP is an XML-based web services protocol to exchange data and documents over HTTP or SMTP which is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It allows independent process operating on the spirit system to communicate using XML. Okay, next type of web services is REST. REST means uh, provide communication and connectivity between devices and the internet for the API-based tasks. Most RESTful services use HTTP as the supporting protocol. Okay, here are the, some well-known web services that use markup languages. One is JSON RPC, JSON WSP, Web Services Description Language, which is WSDL, Web Services Conversation Language, WSCL. Web Services Flow Language, WSFL. Web Services Metadata Exchange, WS Metadata Exchange. And lastly, XML Interface for Network Services, which is XINS. Okay, there are three roles in web services architecture.
one is service provider service provider is from an architectural perspective it is the platform the host the services next service requester service requester is the application that look is looking for the inbooking of initiating and interaction with a service the browser place the requester role driven by a consumer or a program without a user interface next is service registry service requester find services and obtain binding information for services during development next we have operation in a web services architecture what are those are one is publish what is publish in the publish operation a service description must be published so that service requester can find the service next is find in the find operation the service requester retrieves the service description directly it can be involved in two different life cycle phases for the service requester next is bind in the bind operation the service requester invokes or initiates an interaction with the service at the runtime using the binding details in the service description to locate contact and invoke the service okay let's take an example of web services for example we are going into a restaurant or hotel for having a dinner we are going to communicate our order to the kitchen and kitchen is going to serve our order okay there is a person who is involved in communication process the person takes your order from your table goes to the kitchen and places order and then takes your food from the kitchen once it prepared and you get your food through the same person and who is that person the person is a waiter our waiter is performing the role of web services api <clears throat> or we can also say web service he is communicating between two application is proper and successful to further explain for example you can speak in english but the chef inside the kitchen speak chinese and you do not understand each other the person who makes sure to application can communicate with each other and whatever response you have to get from the server or whatever request a server has to get from a client is in informal where two entities can understand each other and communicate so here you are the client and the kitchen is the server and you are communicating with each other the role of the waiter is a web service becomes very important that is the way how we communicate from a uh, client to the server and then this is the example on how we represent from uh, a person who will eat, try to eat in a restaurant and communicating to the kitchen by ordering a food uh, by means of um, requesting of a means of our waiter Okay, another example is the picture you see below on how web services and client workstation how communicate by means of internet. 
how client requests message and web service response with the messages. If the client requests the information, it will transfer through internet going to a web services from different uh, uh, sub, uh, provider. It means if the client requests a message request going to the web service, then the web service will provide a response to message which will be received the client. And that's the way how we communicate using the web service. Next, I have another example on how web service work. We have a server here, server, and here is the client. We can see how it flow using different application, how it workflow, if the client requests and how the server responds. Okay, let's overview the working web services. We have one server which web services running and we have a client system in which a standalone application is running. Let's consider that this client application wants to invoke some services from the server application and for this client application should know what type of service the service application is providing for this purpose the server will generate a wsdl documents that describe various use and format of the web service this file will send to the registry uddi software where stored the file in a unique name the client will access the WSDL file from UDDI registry. So the client will generate some classes called stub. Using stub generation tool, this class will some method of services where the client want from the server, where the stub can convert to XML document and called a SOAP request. The SOAP request need to be sent to the server location which is moved by the HTTP protocol to HTTP server. The HTTP server send the SOAP request to a skeleton. What is skeleton? The skeleton is predefined class which depends on the service class. The skeleton will invoke the client request from the server application and will get the response from the server which will be SOAP response. And it is an XML document now. This SOAP response need to be sent to client application which again sent by the HTTP protocol to the client side. Now, as the SOAP response is available in the client side, it will be read by the stub again and it will return some value which is given to the client application. So in this way, a web service works between the client and the server. Okay, this is my end of my presentation. Hope you like it and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.